What's up everybody? Welcome back to the book space where we do book reviews and tell stories. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of Chimama Dampo's The Antichies Zephora. Uh, if it's your first time here, welcome. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more content like this. And uh, don't forget to press the subscribe button. Now, um, before I review this uh, short story, I will read you the first paragraph of this story. <clears throat> so it goes like this. <clears throat> All through the night, my mother sat near me, but never touched me. Once I screamed, a short scream that lanced the air in the hospital room, and she said, that's how labor is in Igbo. And I wanted to say, but of course, she didn't understand colloquial Americanisms. I had prepared for pain, but this was not mere pain. There was something like pain and different from pain. It set like fire in my back, spreading to my thighs, squeezing and crushing my insides, pulling downward, spiraling. It felt like the Old Testament, a plague. A primitive wind blowing at will, um, evil, but pur purposelessly so, and overcoming in my body that didn't need to be. Hour after hour of this, and yet the nurses said I wasn't progressing. You're not progressing, the smaller nurse said, as though it were my fault. <laughs> now, I absolutely love Chimama Nangozi Adichie. So this, this review might be biased, okay? So I have uh, read and reviewed Chimama Nangozi Adichie's um, The Purple Hibis Hibiscus. I've also read uh, Americana. And I have listened to her collection of short stories titled The Thing Around Your Neck. And so I, I've also listened and read um we should all be feminists so i'm kind of familiar with chimamandangozi and dichie um but for some reason this short story was not on my radar at all like i had no idea that she had written this particular short story until i came across a youtuber called rachel ayo um, and she uh, reviews books and other things. Her channel is about books, mental health, and lifestyle. And just from what I was seeing on her channel, she uh, reviews mostly African um, African literature, African uh, books by African writers. And so, anyway, that's how I came across the story here. Um, so it is available on Audible. And it is also available on Kindle. So I got the um, the Kindle version. But because I don't have a Kindle uh, on Amazon, you can purchase you can purchase the the, the book, uh, and then there's an app you can download so that you can read Kindle stuff on your phone. <laughs> I didn't know that. Found out found that out today. Anyway, the moment I started reading this story. It's only a short story anyway. I could not put it down. Like, I was engrossed. I was in there with Zikora. I was feeling her pain. I was experiencing her... Experiencing her, her turmoil. So, this short story. When Rachel... Um, did a review on it on her thumbnail. She says, Why? <laughs> oh, I think she said, Chimamanda, why? And I totally get it. I totally get it. I totally get it. Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> ah, but anyway, the short story. As I said, I could. I am totally biased because I I love Chimama Nangozi and Tichie. So you know. Anyway, it is what it is. So anyway, this story Zikora is a short story about a a lady named Zikora um, who is in labor um, 
for the birth of her first child. And so, as she is in labor for the birth of her first, first child, um, we then get transported to how she became pregnant, her relationship with her partner Kwame, and how that dynamic worked, and her relationship with her mother, and her relationship, funny enough, her, also her relationship with her father. Now, you think you know somebody. I think when you're in a relationship, you think you know somebody. In a relationship with your parents, in a relationship with a partner, in a relationship with your siblings, you think you know them. Until one thing happens that totally changes what you thought you knew about them. So this is what we see in Zikora's story. How one sentence changed her how she perceived and how she saw her boyfriend and how he perceived and how he saw her in that relationship and how on the other hand one action changed how she perceived one experience actually one experience changed how she saw her mother and how she perceived their relationship and what she thought she knew about her her relationship with her mother, um, it, it, from the, it, even from the opening chapter, from the opening pages, it's very formal, very strained, very restrained, very structured, it seems. And in how she sees her mother in the beginning and how she talks to her mother, you can sort of feel some angst and some level of resentment. <laughs> but as the story goes on, you, you can see that, you know, what she thought of her mother and how she perceived her and how she saw her and how she handled her situations begin to change. And as well, similarly, her relationship with her fiancé Kwame, who she absolutely loved and adored, how that progresses and how that moves. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you. And we also see her relationship with her cousin. Oh, I forget the name of the cousin now. But it means, a, her name means a wealthy river. A river of wealth. So how she had judged her cousin who had married an older man called Emmanuel and how that, how she sees her changes over time. <laughs> it's interesting that it's just a short story, but somehow you feel like you, by the end of it, you feel like you've walked with Zikora through her life, like you've experienced her life. It's the, it's the most weird, great thing about this short story. It feels like you've walked with her a lifetime, even though it's only a few pages, because of the way that Chimamanda unpacks the story and intertwines it and brings this relationship and this relationship and this relationship. It's so interesting. And in the end, it is interesting that the people that she, I feel, I feel from my, my, my opinion, <laughs> the person that she thought would show up for her in the end was the, per the person that she least expected to show up for her in the end is the person that actually showed up for her. It makes you really think. It makes you, like, it makes, it made me really think, can you truly say you know somebody? Can you truly know how a person is going to react in any given situation? Can you truly know anyone? This, 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 this short story here. To Amanda, why? <laughs> huh, okay. You, you have done well, though. Like, yeah, it, it's a good story. So... Yeah, I definitely recommend it. If you can get it, get it. If you can read it, read it. It's a short story, so you'll go through it quickly. 
it is an easy read um and it, it is hard to put down so yeah so that's my review for today for Chimabandongosi at BTA Sikora thank you so much for hanging out with me today if it's if you love this video please give it a thumbs up so that i'll know to make more content like this and of course don't forget to press the subscribe button so you'll get notified each time i release amazing content until next time thank you